Why chop I do it? I pee where I say like come now. We next the city cheese and from the city cheese, you know we next people. And yeah people, thank you. I wanna thank all of my people who have been supporting the podcast, you know it's the you see the trees podcast. And this is actually episode three of season one, you get me? And the topic that will I'll actually be giving an insight about tonight will actually be about L.A. Lewis being put out of the funeral that was kept recently in Clarendon of the mother and the four kids that were brutally slaughtered by Rushing Barnett or something like that. But that is the cousin of the deceased family. Yes, I'm going to speak on that as well. And people, I just want you to remember to like, subscribe and share. Get me to 100,000 subscribers. And people, I will be doing videos every day. So I want you, to, you guys to stay with me and watch the consistency. They get what I'm saying? I may have internet issues so videos will take a lot longer time to be uploaded but people once you support the movement and once my sponsorship grows in doing this podcast and then i have more relatable topics then trust and believe me that this will be a magnificent thing so people i wanted to help push the movement that is the you see the trees podcast and people remember to like subscribe and share king rover music King were over the hovers. Yes, people so. And also I want to also give a special shout out to my main sponsorship which is We Next. As I always stated before, this We Next is a brand. It's like a moniker of mine. You get me? And We Next is for the people. So yeah, that's the, the most that I wanted to state for now. All right, so let me go into the L.A. Lewis issue that recently occurred. As you guys saw before, there was a clip playing at the, at the starting of the video with them addressing L.A. Lewis in regards to being or sitting at the front row of the funeral with the, with the immediate family. So it was alleged that L.A. Lewis popular entertainer as most people would say or acclaimed popular entertainer seven god or six god seven god sorry was seated at the funeral of the deceased family that is the four kids that were killed plus mother by a family member russian baronet or barrett whichever way so he was seated at the front row with the family members as you know to give his support or to give his you know condolences to the family however a certain minister of parliament that is Olivia Bobsey Grange apprehended him from being at the front row of the funeral you get what I'm saying so there was a, a bit of confusion and they, they asked him to they asked for him to be removed from the front of the funeral, which was kind of absurd seeing that. So, all right, so let me just go into my views in, reg in regards to them removing L.A. Lewis from the funeral or from the front of, of the family. First to comment, I'm weighing this on a good and a bad scale. So, first to comment, in regards to the bad scale that I would depict, the government has no authority of removing anyone from any funeral or wedding because, to be quite frank, the government isn't doing anything where there is concerning a lot of relatable issues like employment, which is at its lowest peak in decades in Jamaica, as well as crime rate, which keeps on rising and getting 
more and more like dominant in regards to Jamaica. You get what I'm saying? And the government haven't been doing anything to do anything about it. In fact, the Prime Minister made a statement where he stated that, you know, when he wins the election, people will be able to sleep with their doors open. And unfortunately, that dream is still a, still an illusion for most Jamaicans, including myself. So, let's just say, for them to come at the funeral and even be there and even make it seem as if they are supportive of the family. No, if it's, it's all about clout. If it wasn't being publicly televised, then the Prime Minister would not have been there, as well as majority of the people who are giving their insights and are viewing the, the funeral, who have been watching the funeral, are mostly big, major people from all over, all over the world. It's not just, it's, this story is not just, has not just been covered by Jamaicans. It has been covered by a lot of Caribbean countries, seeing that Jamaica is, is nowadays being the name or the face of every topic that has been sought or brought upon. So once anything include a Jamaican, a lot of people, meaning a lot of races, will try to find out what that is. Is either they want to mimic or depict some clownism about Jamaica, or they want to use that for themselves. I don't know what it is. You get what I'm saying? So basically, for the government to be there and be as if, oh, we are here for the sub main support. No. You get what I'm saying? And to be honest, all of this that has been happening, if you take a close look at all of this that is happening, you will see that majority of these killers that are doing these crimes and it is public, nothing will happen to them because it's basically all this that is taking place is a sacrificial, it's a sacrificial benefit for the government and Jamaica and whole because let's just say there are a lot of demonic activities have been taking place so there is a lot of sacrifice being taken place and in order for Jamaica to solid, solidify itself as from a third world country to a first world country they have to be doing that a lot of artists they don't want to tell you that who they are power with certain type of people and they do certain type of things because of the culture yes but really and truly they cannot go around that once you are influential once you are highly recommended by even the system then you're going to be in trouble if you are not doing as they say you to do so no artist can ever come and tell you that they are they are against the law or against the system they are with the system so that's how far it goes but in regard in the in regards to the positive outlook of them removing L.A. Lewis from the funeral or from the frontier of the funeral is precisely L.A. Lewis, yes, maybe L.A. Lewis and them may be friends, but L.A. Lewis being there is, would also solidify me saying that they were sacrificed because L.A. Lewis has a lot to do with Freemasonry. If he isn't even a part of it, he speaks about being using um, Voodooism or Obia as stated. So, a person like that, you cannot really trust certain things about them. You get what I'm saying? So, for them to remove him from the frontier of a funeral that you know is about mourning, and he being there is like a joke. So, I would totally understand them removing L.A. Lewis from the frontier of it because they're looking at him like, oh, you're, you're, a, you're a joke. Because the majority of what he do is like a joke. So, you know, who would really take you serious? And you cannot even blame anyone in Lewis because you depict that picture to a lot of people. So people are going to bash you as someone who is not really serious about whatever you do. You get what I'm saying? So that would be the positive outlook of them removing you. You get what I'm saying? However, at the same breath in time, the Prime Minister, he was speaking about on topics. And he was saying that he was on Yowanda and Ray Tete and he heard the news and blade it, but to be honest, the Prime Minister didn't even care about this. And I'm saying this openly, he didn't even care about this. He was like 
quite fine because to be honest with you people none of the upper echelon people who are not experiencing crime they will never get care about what crime does to anyone once they and their friends and their families are not affected by this so it doesn't really matter those five kids died yes they understand the tragedy but it doesn't really move them that much because they have not those people are not dear to them as they would consider them those people are not their friends their family their own loved ones so it would even move them and as and as speaking upon that the government the whole jamaica is moving from the culture that they were in which is you know the bible thing whichever way and move it more into sacrifice um Saddam, Saddamism, Saddam and Gomorrah ism, do the ism, a lot of those isms. So that is the shift in energy, and energy is everything. So it's like once they are doing those stuff, then you're going to have a shift in the energy in regards to the spiritual side of everything. And that is the reason why spiritually Jamaica is doomed. It's not just mentally or physically that you're just seeing right now. Spiritually, Jamaica is doomed because of the things that have been done poured to us through our government and through our predominant artists and entertainers who are out there. So, this is like a backlash. It's like we're getting a hard hitting effect from what our past ancestors did in order for us to be where we are now. So it's basically that. So, my review on regards to them removing L.A. Lewis, I would just say I wasn't in favor of that because the government doesn't really normally do anything for the Jamaican people. So for them to come and say, yo, may remove L.A. Lewis, that was absurd. You get what I'm saying? And for them to even be there, yeah, that was even absurd. It was just because of the cloth. You get what I'm saying? But L.A. Lewis had no part in being at the frontier of the of there but even if he was a close family friend with them i don't think he had the right to be there you get what i'm saying because this was a serious life event i think you being the type of person you is and knowing that most people won't take you seriously you should have I'm not saying i'm saying drop your confidence i'm saying you should have been more cautious in regards to what you are doing because because that is a big level of embarrassment so for you, you to be even in that in that position, trust me, that's that's rough. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, that I guess that's that's my input on all of this. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's my input on all of this. So yeah. And uh, what I want you guys to do is remember in the comment section below, comment on the related topics that you want me to address or talk about. It doesn't have to be long. It's going to give you my in, my review, my input. As you know, this is a podcast. So, remember guys, like, subscribe, and share, okay? Why? Well, Chop, I don't know. People are saying, come down. We next. See the cheese. I'm going to see the cheese and all. We next. Boom. Price you buy some bun them up, turn them over, block them up. As in go fi take a sip out a ink up, I take a puffy man in grass clad, girl. Man in belly them a chuck, never know me so fuck up. Evil us so till he walk. I ain't let me a go cut, cause a pussy a go suck. Turn the girl in a me sot, want fi see how she cock up. Push it in she all a buck, overflow like.